Hello and welcome to the Generational Gamer. Today we're going to talk about Cotton 100%. So starting off, you can see you have three options. This is identical to that of Panorama Cotton, where you have Standard, which is the actual game and allows you some of the modern conveniences, you know, modern technology for the retro gamer, where you can rewind, you have save states and you have cheats. Then you've got challenge mode, which will be the original form without modern enhancements. So it's retro technology for the modern gamer. Wait a second. And then you got credits. Let's go into standard. And you can see here are the options. You get to check out the controls first. So this is a Super Nintendo style because it was actually released on the Famicom. This game is not nearly as expensive as Panorama Cotton, but it's still pretty damn rare. This is the first time it's been released outside of Japan officially, and it was on the Super Famicom. So Shoot, which would be on the Switch, which is what I'm playing it on, that would be Y, Bomb would be B, Magic would be A, and Magic Select would be X. The rewind is at L, and then you can go back to the defaults. Let's take a look at the video. So this is the default. Then you've got this, which doesn't look any different. Do you see any difference? They all look identical to me. So one, one on one, it looks exactly the same. Perfect. I don't know. Am I doing something wrong? I have no idea because it looks exactly the same. And you can adjust it while you hear that noise. I'm adjusting it as we go along. So let's just leave it at perfect and call it a day. Here's your shaders. So you can put a CRT style. You can mask it and change the intensity. You can change the sharpness, the curvature of the faux TV. And we're just gonna set it for the defaults and then turn this off because I don't like it. So we'll keep it at perfect, we'll go back. That is pretty much it, but you can change the rewind speed. So starting the game, boom. There's some willow. Hundred percent willow. Okay, let's check out config. Press start. What are the odds? All right, so we will. We're going to use the maximum. This is a standard setup anyway. I already mentioned what it was. Sound mode. I don't know what the fade time is. We'll just leave it alone. In any case, Panorama Cotton had a sound check in there and you can listen to the music of the game and it's great music especially on the mega drive Woo! this came out the same year 1994 let's actually check out the game So this game is a direct sequel to the arcade, which has now been rebooted on the Switch as well. So I'm going to press start here. There we are, start. So now I get to choose what kind of weaponry I want. I think we are going to use this one. I'm guessing her willow was stolen again. I have no idea what the hell that says. Alright, so why does the shoot as planned? Music's good. Visuals are nice. If you're interested in cotton, I bought the, uh, the, the rebooted game. That is a great one, and it includes the 68,000 version of the game. You know what would be nice is if I didn't die right away. I, I'm gonna try that. So you can hold Y and you'll get the auto shot. Give me my willow. Yay! Yep, 
right, there we go. We're, we're using, killing some Easter eggs now. But this plays very much like I expected Cotton to play. Why? Because I've been playing the reboot game, and the reboot game is great. I've really been enjoying it. So if you're inclined to buy Cotton, you can actually buy the, the uh, cartridge version of this and Panorama Cotton. By the way, you can use the either the joystick on the on the control pad, or you can use. Oh damn it, I died. Or you can use the uh, D-pad, whatever you choose. Look at that willow. If you don't know, the willow is her candy that she's looking for. I'm powerful now. In case you're curious about my background with shooters, um, I just started playing shooters this year. Really. Every now and then I'd buy one and wouldn't play it very much. But I've gotten into them this year. And as you can see, I'm not the greatest at them, but they're fun. What the hell is that? I think this was in uh, the first game. But I got some magic to help me, too. So basically, you just gotta dodge it. Okay. I think I can do that. Alright, we're just gonna use magic. I'm losing anyway. So that's level one. And now it's tea time! Yep. This is just where you get stuff. I'm actually gonna use the analog stick for this. So I think it'll give me better control. Okay, there you go. It's showing you the magic bonus versus the attack bonus. Yay! Maybe they'll add an English translation patch at some point. Who knows? You don't seem to run out of bombs either, so it's actually useful to use them. Listen to that music. The music's great. Honestly, I think this is in Reboot too. The bees. Not good, my friends. Not good. I think I just beat it. By accident! Like I said, I am not great at shoot 'em ups. I do like shoot 'em ups. This code was sent to me, and I appreciate the company sending it to me. Um, I really like Cotton, Cotton Reboot. If you decide you only have to, you can only get one cotton, I'd probably go with that one. It comes with basically two games in one. You get the 68,000 version of cotton, and it, god oh, damn it, in addition to the rebooted one. And we're at boss number two. Oh, shite. That's a pissed off looking snowman. He's gonna baseball bat this shit. Yep, I knew it. All right, we got some magic. Yay, I beat him. All right, I only got four lives left. Let's see if I can do this. Tea time! If you need to move around faster, I will say the analog stick seems to be faster than the D-pad. However, given that it's a 2D side-scrolling game, you're probably better off with the D-pad. So, I mean, I think you know what you're getting when you play one of these games. I hope you know what you're getting when you're playing one of these games. You're getting a fun, cute em up style game. Oh, death is trying to kill me now. It's death! Anybody, everybody watch The Simpsons knows exactly what I was referencing. Oh, jeez, that thing really does move around a lot. Yeah, that thing's pissed. I need more piss than Frosty a few minutes ago. Yeah, that's one thing about these shoot 'em up games. They are not easy, and they're not meant to be. Even if you are playing a cute one like this. There we 
go. And we done. I love the music. The graphics are really nice, too. And given that this is Super Nintendo, that's pretty damn impressive, I must say. It does not have the same kind of impression elements that Panorama does, but it's still a pretty damn nice game. Right, I don't even know what the boss is. Basically, I gotta get out of the damn way when it does that. Why? Look at this. I gotta get back on the other side. Damn. Alright. So, as you can see, what Rewind does. I beat it! So, there's gotta be a way to get around that. So, alright, we're just gonna let it go. I think it's a very good game. And I probably would buy it myself if I didn't get a code. So, obviously I didn't get my Willow. Anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. I hope it helped you make a decision. Have a good one.